It is the holiday season, but what do you get? The pet owner in your life. And we all know pet owners, right? Dave Morris here. It is the Rescue Rundown, joined by Abby Wolf. How are you? Good. How are you? Doing well. And you have brought, not this week, no no dogs or cats, no I know. puppies or kittens. And our, our lady out front here at the desk is severely disappointed about <laughs> she this. She wasn't going to let me in this morning. She wasn't. She's was like, <laughs> I don't know, Abby. You should really bring in somebody <laughs> cuddly for this. But you do have some gift ideas. I do. For the pet owner in our life. And uh, the first one here is... I didn't even knew this. I didn't even know this sort of thing existed. Yes, and I'm hoping somebody gets me this this Christmas. Hint, hint, because I love this gift idea. It's a DNA kit for your dog. So if you rescued your pet, or you you aren't sure what the breed of your pet is, this is a great opportunity for you to go ahead and DNA test them. So how does this work? So you swab the inside of their cheek. That's fine. pretty easy. Nothing too complicated. You ship it back to the company. The company then sends you all the details of your dog's genes and DNA. And so it will tell you what the father's genes are made of, what the mother's genes are made of, um, and you'll be able to pinpoint your breed That's a little bit more cool, specifically. Actually. Yeah, Because you're like, yeah, I've got a mud over here. No, you can just really define it. It's a Dalmatian mix of something else. Absolutely, and you would be surprised. Some of the uh, results that come back are surprising. Yeah. You, you think your dog's a purebred boxer and it comes back something else. Ouch. Yeah. Uh, what's the cost on something like this? What's, this and, what, and how long is that timeline of getting back or? It Do usually we, takes about six weeks to get your results back, okay. um, and they retail for $75 at our adoption center, and that's at 7500 Northwestern. Very nice. Moving on, something else, the Weiss Walkie, am I saying that right? It is Weiss Walkie, Weiss -walkie. and this thing is magic in a little box. Um, <laughs> if you have a dog who pulls, especially our big dogs, if they're pulling and pulling on the leash and you just can't get them to quite be trained on that leash, a Weiss walkie is a miracle worker. So how does that work? Basically, it is a humane way to teach your dog not to pull. So it is a basic leash. As you can see, it's just a, a rope um, with a little hook on it. You wrap it around their body cavity, and when they pull, it gives them a gentle squeeze. It's not like one of those pinch collars or anything harmful like that. So it's a humane way to teach your dog to stop pulling. And how much does something like that go for? This retails for $20, and OK Humane is the only retailer in Oklahoma who are selling them right now. So it's 7500 Northwestern, again. Very nice, very mm -hmm. nice. All right, uh, and then we also have Dog Talk. We do. So our friend Pat Becker-Wallace at Dog Talk has written a book called A Search for Paradise, or The Search for Paradise. Um, this is for those teens out there. If you're trying to get your kids to read this holiday season, what better way to do it than dogs, right? Sure. So this story is just a fictional tale, but actually quite real compared to, to real life. It's two dogs who are searching for their forever homes or paradise. Oh, um, it teaches you a really valuable lesson. And that valuable lesson is when you rescue an animal, you never know their story. And so if their story is something more complicated than what you're expecting, they're going to take a little bit of patience and a lot of love to get through it. And it teaches um, young adults and adults alike um, those valuable lessons. It's a good point because the dog is just acting based on the experiences that they've had. Absolutely. And you never know. That's the hardest part about rescuing dogs and cats is you just don't know their story. Um, they can't tell you. So it's really great to have that patience and understand that you might not know their background. Talking with Abby Wolf of the Central Oklahoma Humane Society. This is the uh, 12th episode of the Rescue Rundown, I believe. Yay! I know. Um, two last tips for uh, pet owners here. Uh, one involves wine. Oh, who doesn't love wine, right? Man, we and all, we all love puppies wine. and dogs exactly. and saving lives. I mean, it's all, this is a no brainer for me. <laughs> um, our, one of our gift ideas is our friends at Water's Edge Winery are offering two kinds of wine, one white, one red, that benefits OK Humane. Um, they're $20 a bottle, and you can spot these bottles of wine because they have an adorable puppy on the front of them, um, one of OK Humane's puppies. But if you're looking for a quick, easy gift idea, why not wine, right? $25 bottle of wine, um, and it benefits the uh, Central Oklahoma Humane Society. Very nice. Uh, and one last gift, the Bark Box. Yes. Okay, so I'm sure most people have seen the Bark Box on social media. They do a lot of advertising on social media. Seems like there's a lot of boxes, if you will, on Facebook. There are. And there if you are. click on one, then your timeline is going to be flooded with a whole lot of, <laughs> you may be interested in this one. Yes. Well, the Bark Box is a pretty cool idea. It's a monthly gift. So if you're looking to give somebody a gift that just keeps giving, this is a great option. You can pick your breed size, and then you can pick your, um, your monthly plan, and then it delivers to them every 
every month. And, and it what, ranges. What is in this bark box? You know, usually it's toys, treats, the latest in pet stuff, basically. So toys, treats, and essentials for dogs. So you could probably set that up for a one-time gift or a range. You absolutely can. I think you can do it one, six, nine, and twelve months. I had a friend get me the Bacon of the Month Club once. Oh wow. This is a fantastic uh, gift. Yeah, that's a good friend. But for a pet owner, the bark box would be Yes, good. absolutely. All right, very good. Abby, thanks so much. Thanks for having us. Uh, as always, and uh, next week we'll trend into a little bit of turkey and maybe what not to feed your animal at that the turkey dinner, right? I like that. All right, Abby, thanks so much. All right.